Electronic Project 9 Robot Controls IOs by Serial Communication with the IC chip 74HC165. This IC chip is a shifter. They take the 8-bit uh, data from the bus and it can be typical IO write command and it shift out the data into the serial, serial um, data and this is often used um, the 8-bit data is, is is sent out so you need a counter so we cover the counter in the previous video Let's set the counter value and the count the counter output can be the clock so exact number of uh, clock is given to this shifter and shifter uh, shift out the data so here's a typical uh, robot design the you have a CPU and memory inside and this bus is connected to on-chip I.O. like a USB this external laptop you send the code and the memory dump into the memory and the reset the CPU the CPU start running when CPU start running the this is the main module the main main brain of the robot this this data bus write some data to control the arms legs whatever uh, to external IO and you can have any port as many as you want okay but typically from there you can't uh, have a data bus cable those flat cable you know the eight data and address so and so this this cable is that flat cable you can't use long distance like three feet or five feet uh, it's become unreliable because data does not switch very well with such a long cable and it's bulky the every arm every legs need to have this flat cable so instead you serialize the serial bus require only a few uh, the cable few few lines for each arm and legs and stuff so the arms and legs the whatever um, distance away from the main modules will have a receiving serial bus uh, device which is also same uh, 74165 so you can you can use this as an expandable I/O for serial communication. Uh, for example, you control the motor on the arm and legs, hand, legs, whatever, and the input from sensor. If you need some input, the the uh, sensor goes all over, and there is a AD converter store the data into this uh, 74HC165 and the serial data is sent back to the main mod module so it's a serial communication so this IC chip the shifter is very important for serial communication um, IC chip has a data bus connected to the chip it's eight one byte it's a typical for IO uh, instruction and this one byte is gonna get into this shift register and the clock comes in the shift register shift out for example the data written is one zero zero one zero 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 one the shift register each clock is shifted and shift in can be any digital value this depends on what you, you want to shift in 
uh, it could be 0 or 1, whatever you want. And the next clock is going to be 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. And shift in, so and so. So the data is shift out serially. And this serial bus is going to uh, go to the uh, receiver shift register and the receiver shift register shift in and provide this parallel eight, uh, one byte of data to whatever uh, they need so what you do is in order to have the uh, to solve this timing problem you have a data clock and, and the serial data goes in the serial data shift clock number of clock is counted by counter so you know exactly how many bit is going to shift out but you you may want to do this kind of uh, trick when you shift out use this rising edge to shift out but you give this clock and the receiver use falling edge to get the data Okay, the reason is you give enough time uh, between the clock edge and the data because otherwise if clock and the data does not synchronize there is a, some requirement for the clock edge the setup time and the um, hold time so the data setup time and the hold time becomes an issue when the cable gets long if you mess up this timing then you get the wrong data captured in the receiver side okay the IC chip is simple you have a data bus on in the middle and you know ground and the VCC and the clocking clock inhibit and shift in and out so that's the uh, IC chip so you have to remember you provide enough data setup time and the whole time for the clock edge so the best way is to use a different clock edge for receiver side to have enough setup time and the whole time okay so um, serial communication is not new but this is a short distance we're talking about several feet within a robot this is something new we didn't have it because computer all the bus address is on the board and the large mainframe you extend the bus uh, to multiple board and this cable is carefully controlled so that the uh, time the, the issue of data transfer time on the on the uh, cable becomes a very serious issue in the, uh, the large computer because within a board they can operate a very high frequency but uh, inter-board operation they probably use uh, multiple clock time to allow the data transfer from one board to another okay but the robot robotics nowadays a lot of people design robotics you don't want to use a parallel data bus instead you have a main module and you have a module to control the arm and module to control the leg the all kind of robotics this this has a, a distance distance is several feet and this distance is is long enough to cause a problem with a parallel uh, bus and address and stuff so you use a serial but it's not that serious serial you can manage it at high speed serial transmission when it comes to the long distance then this problem is not new the we have 
asynchronous serial communication and traditional one is like 80 to 50 yard the old time in the industry know this uh, this is like a modem uh, you send it at the very poor quality line like a telephone line twisted pair at the long distance the higher you send it you can no longer send data and the clock at the same time because the delay time uh, happen to data and the clock could be totally different and the timing become very unreliable so you send only data how do you send only data well they have uh, many techniques it's called preamble means you send the uh, certain amount of regular clock then you put the data and the post amble so what happened is it's preamble the receiver uh, synchronize the speed of data transmission then start reading data using the speed then post samples it con uh, confirm the data was written uh, I mean read at the uh, correct speed so there are a lot of error so there is a retransmission retransmission mechanism and you can do that in the robotics because the robotics much faster require much faster data transmission and if you have a transmission error the while it's waiting it's lose the balance and fall down so you can do this this is only asynchronous uh, transmission is only for the, the long distance uh, fiber optics is a recent technology a long distance trans transceiver well fiber optics the key is to send and receive this transceiver device it's a very high speed but it has enough power to drive or emit the laser lights and receive and convert into the electronic signal and this kind of technology is new okay but the basic is same uh, it's used the same preamble to synchronize a clock kind of method so this is traditional serial but the short distance within several feet the this is the digital uh, shifter device is a key okay so what's happened is the microcontroller send uh, execute the IO instruction right then it send out IO write pulse then IO's address instruction has address address is selected before this edge and data one byte data is sent out and it's settled before this edge okay and that's a way shift register receive one byte of data by IO instruction okay then you have this counter which has a number of clock set and the counter start running in order to do that you need a trigger okay and the microcontroller send a trigger to this counter and the counter start going and send one byte of data serially out okay so so it's it's like a two IO instruction required to send one byte and still fast enough for robotics because robotic mechanics is way uh, slower than digital signal so serial transmitter this is the shift to register and you have a bus and address going address it to select this IO device one two three which one to uh, select the the as we explained 
the serial transmitters receive the byte of data. This is the shift register, right? And the clock counter is initial setup. How many clock byte is counting eight? It's produced eight clock, right? And IO instruction trigger. And trigger means it starts counting one cycle. Then all the data is shifted out. Then receiver side, it could be a robotic arm or a leg, whichever, receive this the shifted data. And how it's received is like it has a preset counter. This, this counter is same counter. And it's received the entire byte. And when it's finished receiving, and the flag is on. If if this side has a microcontroller, this flag is read by I/O instruction, right? But the this side does not may not have it. It it could be like this one byte data is just to control the servo motor for arm and legs, that, and, and that's fine. The counter receive it and. This flag is used as a trigger to control. Okay, so this uh, shift register is to convert parallel data into the serial data, and serial data to parallel data. Receiver side is serial data into the parallel data. Okay, so that's what we're going to use for the 74HC165. Okay. Um, we're going to make some uh, uh, breadboard and show you how it works. Okay, uh, if you like this video, uh, please continue to the next one. We have a uh, lot of more exciting uh, topics. Okay, here's a jig. Uh, shift the register. Unfortunately, I had only surface mount chip so I needed to mount on this kind of uh, uh, small PCB board and the solder it it's not quite straight but uh, I inspect this everything's solder is okay now this is the 4-bit shift 4-bit uh, counter we used last time and this counter generate a clock this white line is a clock and enable load and the output go through register to the diode. So whatever we load it up on the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, this uh, one byte of data by connector, um, it should shift out to this LED, okay? And unfortunately, after this, this small, the cheap uh, power supply, start having a problem uh, I measure the voltage it's not 5 volt anymore so this stuff has to be replaced from the next project is uh, I can't demonstrate how the the bit is shifted out into this LED but circuit is very simple okay and later when we have a micro computer we can download and connect the data bus but this jig is uh, reached the limit for this small power supply this is power supply need to be replaced a better one okay so that's it for today